Hey guys, what is going on? Mogati here. I'm gonna start saying Mogati is here from now on because I heard it was like good for branding or whatever. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the best gear sets for physical. I'm going to be doing maybe a magical also uh, a little bit later, but for now we're just going to be talking about physical, so physical heroes, uh, heroes like Blue Jack, Boric, Kasa, etc. So we're going to be looking at three sets today, all sort of based around legend gear. We're going to take a look at full legend and two mixed legend sets. Legend is what you want to go with if you want to hit hard. This has a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit rate but it is very, very light on the defensive side. But that won't matter when your enemy is a pulsing bloody bag of dead. Okay, let's get on to it. First of all, we're going to take a look at full legend. So as you can see here from this icon, it has a sword there that means it's offensive. So you would assume, go full legend and you'll be the most offensive dude ever. But that's not really the case, because full legend is actually the most balanced of the sets we're going to go over today. I did a lot of number punching for these three sets, even though they are similar, you do have to make a lot of changes when you're gonna change even one piece of gear, of course. Uh, this took me a lot of time, so I hope it's at least useful. <laughs> so, final stats for full legend set. I'm only gonna go over percent based stats because stuff like physical attack numbers, health, stuff like that isn't going to change all that much and it really shouldn't be a factor when deciding what gear to take anyway. Without further ado, crit damage. With full legend, 284%, which is pretty high. This is included the 50% base that you have when you start a character. You, you will always have 50% crit damage, so this is included. 119 critical hit rate, which is a little bit on the low side, but should be fine up against most players that are going for offense as well. We have 78% crit reduction, 84% crit resist, 64% damage boost, so this is like physical power in percent based form, and then 34% damage reduction, which is the opposite, it's what counters damage boost. We have 148% accuracy, this is with the 100 base, and accuracy, if you're more familiar with Taichi Panda 1, is like hit rate, and then we have dodge. So this set has 17% dodge as well, which kinda seems useless to be honest, seems like a wasted stat there. You're not gonna be missing anyone with 17 dodge, so... I know Ref 9 will be coming out sometime, not sure exactly when, but that could change up a lot of things as well, so might need to make more gear videos when that happens. And all skills will be reduced by 3 seconds. So overall, a pretty offensive, but also pretty balanced in comparison to the next two sets we're going to be looking at. Has a good amount of crit damage, an okay amount of crit rate, a little bit on the low side. Crit resist and crit reduction are pretty average, but they give you a little bit more tankiness and a little bit more ability to survive there. So we're going to be moving on now to the set that I have, which is also full legend, but the bracers and the boots are swapped out with Warlord. After I go through the uh, third gear set, I'm going to compare all three of them side by side so you can get a better feel for what you would rather have. But the final stats of my set right now would be 364% crit damage, 175% crit rate, very low crit reduction and crit resist at only 30 and 20 respectively, but a nice 83% damage boost, only 10% damage reduction, 174% accuracy, and again with the skills it's the same, minus 3 seconds on all. The description actually does say minus 10 to 30 seconds, but I think that's a typo, I think that's something they haven't fixed yet, because almost no skills even take 20 or 30 seconds to cool down uh, in the first place, so I can't believe that's really accurate, but so I assume that there was just an extra zero there. But anyway, so there is that set. As you can see, definitely way more offensive and way less defensive than Full Legend. A lot more crit damage and crit rate. The crit rate may be a bit overkill, maybe you don't need that much to land consistent critical hits until maybe Ref 9 and more crit resist options are available. Uh, you probably can get around that in crit resist with the right gear, but no one's really going for crit resist builds, they're more about damage, and I agree with that decision. I find it much funner to see big numbers when you're going to be attacking, I don't know, it's just me. Yeah, more damage boost, less damage reduce. Of course, basically just transferring the, the defensive stats into, into offensive stats, that's what's happening here. But we're going to take a look at the third set now, which is exactly the same as the one I just showed you, so my set, except one piece of gear has been changed. And those are the bracers. 
Instead of Warlord Bracers, they were swapped with Ares Bracers. So on this set we have Legend Helm, Weapon, Necklace and Ring, Warlord Boots, and Ares Bracers. I think I said that right, but you can see the set here. So this set takes a tiny percent of defensive stuff the last one had and put it more into offensive. So this is like basically in 100% offensive. I'm not sure if you can get more offensive than this, but here are the final stats. 384% crit damage, which is 20 more than the last set. It did lose some crit rate at only 139 now, which is in the middle of the first and second sets. I would prefer to stick to around 150 to be on the safe side, but 139 probably will be enough. If you are fighting a full legend with this set, you will only be able to crit around half of the time or so if you guys are like both maxed out or whatever. Only 10 crit reduction and crit resist. Damn it, Susie, every time. Sass. So the damage boost here is really one of the main things that makes it a lot more offensive. Uh, 102 damage boost instead of 83 or 64. That is basically doubling your attack power. I mean, I guess it doesn't work so simple like that, but 102% more physical attack. I will assume it's like that. That's just what it says. And the accuracy didn't change. It's still 172. The skill cooldowns did change a bit, though. Now it's 5 seconds on skill 1, 3 seconds on skill 2, and 1 second on skill 3. Uh, this may not be good for some heroes, because some of them won't get the full advantage of skill 1, because it doesn't take long enough anyway. I think most skill 1s don't take... Uh, long enough to really benefit from this five seconds because I think you can only reduce them by 40% or up to 40% something to do with 40% and I don't think many skills are more than six to eight seconds cooldown on skill one but whatever overall I may be switching to this third set here I do like the offensive stuff one thing to keep in mind though is that these stats are just for gear at the moment there aren't that many places you can get stats but runes, synergies, uh, tier level, and stuff like that can also give stats that you won't see here. So if we take a look at my character, I'm far away from max. The only thing maxed I have are the bracers and the boots. My rings are only at ref 5 and these are at ref 7. But even so, I have the second set and I have 172 accuracy, 167 crit rate, 334% crit damage, 50 crit resist rate, 104 crit reduction. These are numbers that are way higher than what I said for this second set And that's because I'm getting stats from other places So even if you look at a set and then you look at your own attributes and are like holy crap That's a bad set. I have better stats than that and I'm not even maxed yet then just keep in mind It'll be a lot higher than that. So basically this is just a comparison with with other gear sets I've been noticing the Ares Bracers and the rest of my set become more popular. A lot of the really stronger players are having this set. Not sure who started the trend, but it is a very good set. And again, I think I will be switching to it when I do get my hands on two more Ares Bracer Shards. The really cool thing about uh, Taiji Panda Heroes, one thing I really like over it, over Taiji Panda 1, is the fact not only does reforging not cost diamonds, but the way you upgrade gear is so much more convenient. Because... All I would need is one Ares Bracer, and then I could have that Ares Bracer at ref 8. Because all bracers, all helmets, all swords, they all share a specific upgrade material. So any helmet will be turned into this, and that's what you can use to upgrade your helmet with. Any ring will be turned into this, any necklace will be turned into this, etc. It goes on like that. So anyway, just a quick discussion on all three of these sets. There are some other physical sets, but I didn't really want to go over them because I found that they weren't all that great. Uh, some people are mixing some other stuff with some other stuff. But these three, I found personally, are my favorite. Uh, they're very offensive. The full legend isn't as offensive. It's pretty balanced. If you'd rather have a little bit more defense, uh, then that would be a good choice. But I think I'm going to be switching to this third one here. Four Legend, one Ares, one Warlord, and see how that plays out. But yeah, one last thing I want to tell you guys before I go. If you want some free stuff in Taichi Panda Heroes, I'll leave a link in the description to go to MMO site. They are giving away keys as a part of their 11th anniversary special. There is a limited amount for Taichi Panda Heroes. You have to scroll down there. I'm gonna put a little video up here to uh, show you guys what it's about. Uh, you'll get a little gift pack, you'll get some uh, little goodies like constitution pills, fortitude pills, some gold, refined stones, stuff like that. Pretty cool, but you have to hurry because there is a limited number of keys. But I will leave that link in the description below. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. That outro seemed kinda short. Was I missing something? 
I think I may have been missing something. OMG, please like, subscribe, favorite, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on googleplus.com, follow me on like, subscribe, retweet, reshare, re rehash, revine.